all right welcome back my dear students so uh, now we're gonna be uh, uh, creating our functions okay for adding subtracting multiply and divide but I just noticed we don't have yet the preview here on how our result would look like when we uh, uh, click this button so inside our display box let's put an h3 here and let's just type a 0 0 here so we can see all right so we still uh, need some work uh, CSS work to get this uh, to make it look better so let's target this h3 inside our display box so we can see here uh, display block display box let's target the h3 it's it, it's child element and let's de set the color to white okay so I think we, we need this centering the element okay let's I'm, I, I copied the code here in container so that the element of uh, inside this display box will also be centered okay all right so right over here save it now it's centered if we're going to uh, center that vertically we are going to use justify content uh, center okay now we got that so maybe I'll set the font size to 1.5 rem maybe 2 alright I think that's good if it's going to be a number I want to see how it looks like Let's say 12 alright so it's good so now we have that preview we can now focus on our JavaScript so we're gonna be creating um, uh, four functions okay uh, this uh, exercise this project is for us to be able to apply what we have learned in functions okay in a more complex way because our previous examples were was uh, simple and also to to for us to get used to uh, uh, in using this uh, uh, in creating customized function and uh, get used to how to implement it in our system so the first function is okay add two numbers right add two numbers this is a best practice in naming you know uh, the variables and functions maybe uh, I'll set the capital uh, here add two numbers and we can say this so this is the regular structure of our function so please uh, get used to this please memorize this if you want to or not if not uh, put it in a, in, in a notepad so you can just copy that later and paste it in your work if you want to create a customized function so uh, this one can be anything you already know that so we're going to add two numbers it will accept two parameters which is a and b all right they'll just uh, to make it simple and uh, we can now say uh, the sum of let sum is equal to a plus b all right so uh, I'm going to introduce you a new like functionality in JavaScript so we know already that when we call this number it will add this number but it, it will just be stored in sum unless we console that log okay unless we console that log that sum it will not uh, th the result will not be returned to us okay uh, what I mean by that is if we are going to call this function right away we know that this is going to be processed okay all right I'm going to say 5 and 10 we know that 5 will be stored in A and 10 will be stored in B and uh, both of them will be will be added here okay and it will be stored in sum so remember we, uh, we comment let me delete that okay if we head over to our browser press F12 okay and uh, we called it here we are expecting it to 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 be returned the value to it okay we're expecting to to get the value of a plus B so right now we did not tell the computer to return that value uh, what we know is you we say console.log the value of sum so it's going to give us 15 here so we are uh, doing it we are just displaying it in our console.log and the other thing that we know is we 
we set it as an inner HTML here. But let me show you uh, how to return exactly without using console.log and uh, without yet using inner HTML okay, to display whatever the sum in here because we can just target you know this this ID right here this h3 we set the ID and name it result we can target the result and set the value of that uh, whatever the value here in sum okay but you can also do this so this is a new thing but this is easy so we can just type return return sum okay so we are not putting that in in our console.log window we are not putting that in inner.html yet, but we are returning the sum. Okay, we are returning the sum. So, it, uh, now that we are able to return the sum by, uh, by, creating, by, by calling this function right here, of course, when we uh, enter that, uh, we don't see it here. We don't see it in console.log, okay? But we are returning the sum. That means we can now catch it it is being returned to us when we use this we can catch it we can put it in a variable for example let result okay we are creating a variable here this can be xyz if you want to i'll just type result so that it's more understandable so that sum is going to be returned here and now we are storing it in result in fact if we are going to console.log the value of result we will get 15 all right i hope that makes sense this is what i'm trying to teach you the return functionality in javascript this is present in all programming languages in python all right in php all right in uh, in c++ all right uh, returning a value from a function from a customized function is a very important concept so i hope you'll, you you take note of that so right now that we are able to uh, create and add two numbers and we are returning that sum we can catch it in time i this is what i demonstrated to you we were able to catch it by storing that in this variable and then we can do anything what we want we can actually go ahead and target uh, let me just copy this and create a variable for that I think we do not have yet a variable for that new element. Okay, let me just copy this. Copy this and paste it here. So we can uh, catch the the uh, the sum here that is being returned by this function, put it in result. Now we can say um, result that inner HTML is equals to result. Hold on, we have two variables here. This might uh, create a problem. Maybe we can just type this display uh, result. Okay, paste this, I copy that and paste it here and update our ID here, display result. Okay, uh, you can use another variable if you want, but uh, I think it is fine as long as we know the ID and we have a variable for that. So we can now go ahead and say, uh, this is the variable for a new variable here that we are declaring because we are trying to catch the value of sum, putting it here in result. Okay, so we can now say display result dot inner HTML is equals to result right over here. Save that and let's check that in our browser. Now we see it right over here, 15. Okay, if I'm going to say two and one, save that. Now we have three here. Okay. Remember, this is what I'm trying to point out, the return okay, functionality. We are returning the, val the value of sum, which is A plus B, into this. All right? But in order for us to catch it, we are putting it in a variable. And now we can use this anytime we want. We can put it in an inner HTML of a particular HTML element. All right, so let's continue. Now that we uh, understand the return, we can now create other functions. All right, for example, if we need minus, we can just go ahead and uh, let's type it for practice purposes. 
we can say uh, subtract subtract two numbers okay we can say here a parameter a and the second uh, parameter is b okay and we can say let uh, what is the uh, what do we call the the product I mean the when we minus two numbers or when we subtract no, two numbers that's the difference right let the difference I'll just say here diff is equals to a minus b okay uh, we, we are assuming that uh, this one will be the the first parameter and second parameter because this is just a mini calculator okay so a minus b and then uh, we can now return what is the value of the diff variable or the difference okay so now we have a new function subtracting two numbers so now that we have this uh, I think there's no need for us to manually type it we can just go ahead and copy here we will say uh, multiply okay a and b and then that's going to be the product right return product and this is multiplication which is asterisk okay so let's copy this again and this one is divide divide two numbers okay and we are using forward slash to divide two numbers and let's set the variable into something in context uh, it's quotient right I was thinking the name of uh, the result of dividing two numbers it's, we name it quotient and we are returning the quotient all right so now we have created our uh, functions and now that we have them we know that we can now use them anytime we want in our code we can assign these functions all right to be called uh, with each button okay for the add two numbers we can assign it here in this button and so on and so forth all right now we only have add button is working because uh, we did that to test if our uh, button here our buttons here are working okay so see you in the next video for us to be able to make use of this custom functions that we have created all right thanks for watching and keep learning